The original 1051 Pokemon really seemed to have a thing for basing Pokemon design on pink balls. I think this was an attempt to lure more girls into the fanbase with the promise of cute, cuddly, magic pink pets, which may have been a bit of an oversimplification, and I think we can add some more uniqueness to these designs. I'm going to choose Clefairy because it has some interesting lore with it supposedly coming from space or at least having a strong connection to space with its design vaguely representing a star, it's found in Mount Moon, it evolves when exposed to a moonstone. So what is Clefairy's design issues? Well for one thing it isn't unique with all the other pink ball Pokemon floating around, but I think my biggest issue with it is probably its lack of anything memorable. The design doesn't really leave an impression. Voltorb isn't really a good design, but you remember it because it's the Pokemon that looks like a Pokeball. This is just a very generic looking Pokemon, despite the fact that it's essentially a space fairy. So let's jump into designing it and see if we can come up with something interesting. I start off experimenting with 2D shapes to quickly test out some ideas. I like the idea of making it the shape of a comet, with the head being the tail of the comet. I tried another version with more of a floppy top to it that could extend when fighting or doing specific moves. I add these little arms or legs, not really sure what they are, but they're kind of meant to represent compressed air that you would get in front of a fast moving object like a jet or a meteor that's entering our atmosphere. I'm liking this design, it's simple and I hope more unique than the original and it is a bit more obviously inspired by space. So I quickly build it out in 3D, not worrying about workflow or technique, just doing whatever it takes to quickly create a rough shape. And it's looking okay. It's cute, but it is pretty far from the original design. And I am at a bit of a design block. I can't really think of what else I could do to add to it or improve it. And maybe it is too far from the original design. So this could maybe be like a pre-evolution to Clefairy. Maybe something will come to me later, but for now I shelf the concept and start again. I go for a similar shaped body but try these huge black eyes filled with stars and this is really working for me. It has pushed it away from being this plain cute Pokemon to now riding the line between cute and creepy and has a lot more emphasis on space. So liking this step forward, I scrap it and start again. When redesigning a Pokemon I can't really stray too far from the original design in too many ways or it ends up just being a totally unique design. So I build out a similar shape to Clefairy and give it the same huge eyes, but this time with a hint of blue to represent the blend between our blue sky and the blackness of space. Continuing on, I am pretty much just replicating a lot of Clefairy's features. The dark tips of the ears, the claws, just giving me more of a base to start making iterations on top of. Okay, at this point I'm happier with the direction it's going. I decide to see what it would look like if I make the shape more round and it looks horrible. I do not know why it took me so long to realise this. It might have been because I was looking at the same thing for too long and became slightly blind to the design. Then I add this terrible looking swirl to its head, which I don't think would actually look too bad. I just did a really bad job of modelling it. I think I was in a bad headspace. It was nearly the end of the day. This I can admit this is not my finest work. Thankfully, I revert back to the original shape and start messing around with other design features. Thought it might be cool to add these little moons to the eyes along with the stars, the idea being that these would represent the current phase of the moon. Don't really know how easy it would be to code that into the games, but hey, that is not my problem. I take the crescent moon idea a bit further and see if I can make a shader that makes the colour pattern on Clefairy look like a crescent moon, but that might be a bit much. I do, however, really like this more desaturated colour scheme. Now, you might not know this, I certainly didn't know this, but Clefairy has a tail, so let's add a tail. But rather than making it a stumpy wee thing, I want a big long one. One, because asymmetry is always nice, and two, I can make the tail set in the shape of a Fibonacci spiral, which is a spiral that occurs in nature all the time. You can see in flowers, in shells, in tornadoes, and in galaxies. So there's another much more subtle reference to space. I keep playing with the colour scheme some more, I'm really liking the idea of just making it pure white, which I end up doing in the end, but I have this back and forth with myself about whether or not making it white is going to push it too far away from the original design. At this point I'm liking the shape of the design, so I start remodelling, just so everything is cleaner and easier to deal with. There isn't really any design decisions to talk about here, as I'm just remaking what I've already made, but this is a good example of how you can create characters and designs using very simple shapes. When I first started 3D art, 
I was very intimidated by characters, worried I would need to spend years studying anatomy and learning how to sculpt. And if you want to create realistic characters, then yeah, you most definitely need to do that. But if you just want to create these very stylized, fun characters, then you really don't. If you want to try out stuff like this, go and download Blender. That is the software I'm using. It is totally free. Play around with it. Pick up a new hobby. There is a huge amount of information and resources online to get you up to speed. And there is a great community of people around it. Anyway, back to Clefairy. I took the shaders in the eyes to make it look like they have a bit more depth and make the blue a bit more vibrant. I eventually take the plunge and make Clefairy completely white. It is looking a little bald, so I have another go at adding the curl back in, which looks a lot better this time around. After recording, I make a few more tweaks and here is the final render. I properly joined the ears to the head and I gave the dark tips the same material as the eyes. Personally, I like it. I think it leans into the space theme a lot more. It has a slightly unsettling vibe where it is cute, but also looks like it could be a complete cycle. But most of all, it isn't a pink ball, and to me, that is a plus. Things I could have done better though, so I still feel like the swirl could be improved or replaced with something else. I actually did try a few variations after recording, but they were all either too far away from the original design or looked worse. Also from the front it looks pretty good, but from the side it's very cumbersome and has these huge bulging eyes which look a little weird, so maybe it would have helped to make those eyes slightly flatter or even 2D as if there were textures on the body. Now I know last time I animated Voltorb I gave him 3 new attacks, but that took so much time. I started doing it with Clefairy but I had to prioritise client work and not starving to death, so I've decided for the most part to stop doing that. It is honestly around 80% of the time spent on one of these videos. So hopefully focusing on the redesign will allow me to make these more consistently. I do still want to make some sort of animation with them, either the Pokemon in an idle loop or in an environment that suits the Pokemon, or just to show off a specific aspect of the design. I know these videos so far have been a little inconsistent with the end result, but it is a bit of an iterative process for me right now trying to find the sweet spot between creating good content and the amount of time I spend on it. If you have any suggestions for Gen 1 Pokemon you would like to see redesigned, leave a comment with the Pokemon and why you think the design could be improved. Thanks for watching.